Andrew says, I learned a few things about networking over the weekend, trying to fix an issue where AirPlay 2 from my Mac Mini iPhone and or iPad to various HomePods Gen 2 and HomePod Minis and Sonos devices would drop out on my network from time to time. I'm running on an Orbi, but I don't think that matters here. Some Google Foo and Reddit Foo recommend reserving the IP address for all of my AirPlay devices. So all AirPlay 2 devices, so audio and video devices, which of course can be done through my Orbi's web interface. I did that and so far so good. Um, he says, I, I also have a Sonos system with a Beam 2, a Sub Mini, and two IKEA Symphonic speakers as rears, but only one IP address for Sonos was showing on my router. Uh, that's because Sonos only shows one IP when devices are grouped, and he has all of those grouped as one speaker in the living room or one set of speakers in the living room. Um, if you want to reserve a port for all or an IP address for all four items, you ungroup them, reserve it, and then one by one regroup. Yeah, it's because they won't get IP addresses. They they effectively become part of Sonos Net, and only the primary device is on your, uh, you know, directly on your network. But yeah, that's I had I have seen this issue with AirPlay too, and the idea of setting up DHCP reservations so that your AirPlay two devices aren't necessarily jumping to different IPs all the time uh, could make a difference. I, and and I said that this wasn't necessarily an Orbi issue. I, I might come back to it and say it is uh, or not. Well, some routers do a calculation, uh, like a hashing almost, of the uh, hardware address of the Wi-Fi device or of the Ethernet device when deciding what DHCP address to assign. Like the Synology, for example, if available, will always give the same IP address to the same device because it does a hash on its MAC address and calculates something that matches. I don't know what its lookup table uh, is built like, but it will try and it by doing that, give the same IP address to the same device, even if it hasn't been on for a couple of days. Again, so long as something else doesn't already have that address. And what's nice about that is you sort of get the benefit of a DHCP reservation without having to go in and do DHCP reservations. 